Welcome. Today we're going to talk about supplements. Super mints? Super mint supplement. Yeah, we're going to talk about supplements today. Yeah, you guys want to know what we're taking. What kind of drugs we're on. Yeah, I keep my drugs. We're not on any drugs. I keep my drugs simple. Well, you took Tylenol the other day. Oh my gosh, I never take meds. I'm not like against Western medicine, but I just only need it in like desperate measures. Yeah. And I had a migraine from hell. So I took two extra strength Tylenols and that even that took an hour to kick in. But anyways, so we'll talk about our supplement regimen um, and our thoughts on supplements. So I will let you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, well... I mean, I think I'm one of those people that if I had, like, tons of income to just throw away, I'd probably try a whole Disposable bunch of... There's so many supplements that I want to try that I'm kind of like, ooh, what does that do? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And try to... And I'd, I'd probably be psychotic enough where I'd be like, okay, well, let me introduce this one for a week and see how it makes me feel and then compare it to this one, blah, blah, blah. But I don't have... <laughs> I'm, like, getting to the point. Tons of money. <laughs> well, where are you going? So I just do the basics. I... I Definitely take a prenatal, um, because it has I have everything. Shepherd, sorry. Yeah, I got easily distracted. I did too. I was staring at you, wait, waiting for. My, I have a German Shepherd named Matcha, and I'm like waiting for him to stop barking. But yeah. Anyways, continue. He may or may not stop barking. Um, most likely he will. But anyway, <laughs> so I keep my supplements pretty basic. I take a prenatal multivitamin. I take uh, fish oil, vitamin D. Spirulina, and what else do I take? A probiotic, mm -hmm. and a vitamin B. All um, important. All of those, and then I think that's it. Like everything else that I may or may not take is kind of super sporadic. Um, These are like the ones you take regularly. But those are the ones that I try to take regularly. The vitamin D and the fish oil, I'll play with like if I've been getting a lot of sun mm -hmm. or if I've been eating a lot more fish I won't supplement those days but the rest of them I try to stick to on right. a daily basis um, I'll go maybe a few weeks at a time where maybe I'll run out and instead of supplementing immediately I'll let some time kind of go and let my body get used to not having mm -hmm. just, I mean I don't really know I, I mean nobody really knows how how much your body adapts to these supplements but there is some adaptation yeah. and there are some instances where your body can get used to having a supplement mm -hmm. for so long that it doesn't make it as readily it itself sense. yeah so mm -hmm. I definitely try to switch up the types that I'm taking mm -hmm. um so I'll still take a multivitamin all the time but the, but brand, the brand might be different mm -hmm. yeah what about you what do you take in a perfect world I would I would take a vitamin d and fish oil but those I just I'm really, my thing is like, I'm more concerned about where it's coming from and the brand that it's coming from, mm -hmm. that I still haven't done enough research on like who I want to commit to and who I want to try. So I have not gotten into it yet. Um, but I take regularly a beef liver capsule. I take um, four of those a day. And I've noticed a huge difference. And I take these ones for energy and gut health. It keeps me feeling much more regular. How long have we been taking that one now? The beef liver? Like three months. Okay. And I, and it's one that I will, it's $38 for a jar or yeah, a jar. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had like a three week gap of not taking it cause I, it was backward on Amazon and I felt a huge difference. Even now if I don't take it, I feel a difference in my energy level yeah. the next day or the, during that day. Mm -hmm. And then I take a probiotic daily. Um, I, I used to be like, oh, I'm not going to supplement because I should be getting it from my food. But I think our food sources are really, they're, I think they're starting to like not be as good. I mm -hmm. think our, we're lacking nutritionally in the nutrients that we're getting from like the soil and our vegetables and all that stuff. So like I'm, I'm easing more into appreciating supplements now. Yeah, I think that's a huge before. thing actually that people kind of feel like they should be able to get everything from their diet and... Mm -hmm. I can't. I agree to a certain extent, but I also kind of like the idea of having that insurance or buffer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, that I'm getting what I need. Yeah. And I know for a fact that there are times when I don't supplement with enough, or I don't eat enough um, fish oil, or get enough sun exposure, yeah. and 
I know that I'm not getting those from my diet or from my environment, so yeah. I'd like to supplement them somehow. That's why, like I'm saying, I need to start because I don't think I, I used to be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get it from my food. But at the end of the day, like I, I'm not hitting those values like mm -hmm. I thought I could. So I definitely am easing more into. Especially when you realize that most, a lot of the more current research shows that just in terms of the amount of fruits and vegetables that you sh should be eating is closer to like 12 servings. And I think the, the mm -hmm. USDA recommends what, like three, five, three, three to five, five mm -hmm. servings of fruits and vegetable. So, um, if, you're trying so to hit that. if you're trying to triple that almost, then it's going to be really hard to On do. your digestive system. Well, no, I mean, I, I think it's reasonable. Like, I think I could do it if I tried. Yeah. Because I actually really enjoy I like fruits vegetables. and vegetables. I just, having that like standard American, like that's a lot to go tell someone like now yeah, you got to times it by five. That's actually three. why they made the recommendation so low because they knew that if they told people, hey, you actually need to eat more like 12 servings, people would just wouldn't do it. No. So they, they gave them a, a smaller goal to work towards, which is, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> but, but because of that same reason, I mean, just imagine if that's what they actually recommend that you consume. And you're not getting that regularly in your diet, then I think you should definitely yeah. be doing some sort of supplementation. But I also think it's something to note, like you can't just roll up into Walmart and like pick a random one off the shelf. I think like do yourself a favor and like look up the company, look up their ethics and their standards because they're they're not regulated. Mm -hmm. So you could t like some that's a whole other topic yeah, actually. It's, so we'll just leave it. At, they're not regulated. Yeah. So you well, I think it was even trust. I think it was Walmart or one of those major chains that mm -hmm. was a recently. Um, they're not. I don't know if there was a recall, but basically they found that the majority of their products didn't actually have what they said. Mm -hmm. There's a whole Google, like, there's had. a whole article, like I think Target had some on there. Walmart yeah, that's the one, Target and Walmart. So you can't just go pick up a random one. Like yeah. it is worth the time to invest and- Labdoor.com, that's a great resource for you if you're looking, if you're trying to compare supplements and how efficient they are and the accuracy of their labels, Labdoor.com is an independent sort of reviewer of those that you can use and trust a little bit more in terms of knowing that you're going to get what you're paying for. But we'll talk about some of the more detail oriented <laughs> stuff about supplements later. But if you have any specific questions about what we're taking or why we're taking it, just let us know. See ya. Bye.